In this problem, we have a long cylindrical conductor, but now the current flowing through the conductor is not uniformly distributed across its cross section. To depict that, I could draw little current vectors, and they would have to be longer on the edges of the wire, and they would decrease as you went toward the center. And the function that describes this current density is j is equal to 5r squared. And each of these little vectors would be a little bit of current di. And so we can write j in general as a little bit of current over a little bit of area. Now if I want to find the total current in this wire, I total, I would have to integrate j dA. And the way that I break the wire up in order to do this integral would be into concentric rings. And dA would be the area of one of these small rings. The radius of the ring would be r, the thickness of the ring would be dr, such that the area dA would be 2 pi r dr. So the integral that I need to do to get the total current would be from 0 to r of j times 2 pi r dr. Now, given any function j, as long as it's just a function of r, these integrals are pretty simple to do. So in our case, let's find this total current. For j, we're going to put 5r squared times 2 pi r dr, which gives us 10 pi r cubed is in the integral, so it becomes r to the fourth over 4, or 5 halves pi r to the fourth. And that is just a number. That is constant. Now, to carry on to calculate the magnetic field, we apply Ampere's law. And for Ampere's law, we'll draw an Amperean circle. So let's first do the magnetic field outside the entire wire at a small radius r. And to find the magnetic field outside, so for case A, we'll have r greater than r. And the magnetic field would be mu naught i in over 2 pi r. That's Ampere's law. In this case, i in would be the total current because it all threads through that Ampere circle. So then I would put 5 halves pi capital R to the fourth over 2 pi r. And cancelling a few things there, I would have mu naught times 5 capital R to the fourth over 4R. And that acts like a thin wire because it goes as 1 over R. Now, if we go inside the wire, for R less than R, I'm not going to have the total current. I'm going to have some proportion. But I still need to integrate to get that inner current going through that inner Amperian circle. So now it's the same integral as above, but rather than stopping the integration at capital R, I have to stop at small r inside the wire. But it's the same integral. And instead of capital R now, I have small r to the fourth. So when I go to put that in Ampere's law, I'll now have a small r to the fourth on top and 2 pi r on the bottom. So this now becomes a cubic function in r. which increases as you move towards the edge of the wire. So if I were to graph b as a function of r, it's a cubic function inside. So this is increases as r cubed, and it's a 1 over r function outside, acting like a thin wire. And that's the magnetic field when you have non-uniform charge density.